Welcome to Cooking with Silver Firm Farms. Today we're going to be looking at the lamb leg roast. Now previously we showed you how to cook the various products in the new uh, Silver Firm Farms lamb, lamb range of products available to you, the consumer. Um, now we're going to look at the simple hints, hints and tips to get the most out of your meat products from Silver Fern Farms. Today, the lamb leg roast, the good old kiwi lamb roast. And we're going to make a nice little side accompaniment of a um, sage and onion stuffing mix um, to go with that. So we start out with our vegetables, with our um, carrots, we nice, like to cut them up nice and chunky. Our carrots here I like to keep nice and chunky and as you notice I haven't actually peeled these because all those good nutrients are just under the skin. So I just give them a really good wash off and a little scrub under, the, under cold running water before I use them. Where would the good old kiwi roast be without the pumpkin? So we've got a pumpkin here. Handy little hint, uh, pumpkin normally when you buy it in the supermarket comes wrapped in a piece of glad wrap or cling film. Cut it in half, good piece of glad wrap to take out the seeds like so, so you don't end up getting all that nasty um, sort of fibre and colour and stuff under your fingernails. Nice clean, keep it nice clean way of taking the seeds out or alternatively you could use a spoon but I find that method works just as well for me. So we cut our pumpkin up nice and chunky. I'm going to keep them about the same size as the carrots as well because obviously um, cooking time, even cooking time. And what we'll do, we'll just arrange these on a on whatever you're going to put them on to go into the oven. Now I've warmed this pan up slightly before doing this. Um, and then I'm just going to spray it with my trusty little olive oil spray. The reason why I do this with olive oil, with the olive oil spray rather than just drizzling olive oil over it is so that um, I don't run the risk of the olive oil actually burning because if it burns then it's just going to affect the overall flavour of the vegetables. So just a nice little spray is all we're going to need. Um, same with the potatoes, I like to keep the skin on the potatoes so I get a nice good nice agria potato, give that a good wash and a scrub under cold running water and then I plunge them in, I chop them up into the size I want and I plunge them into um, boiling water for about two to three minutes just to take that uh, crispiness off of them and it also assists with the cooking process um, in the oven later on so that they don't take all day to cook. Okay, so we get all our vegetables like that and then a little bit of seasoning just to help it along its way. And of course make room for my roast potatoes. Now you can start them from raw if you want to but I find that blanching them in uh, hot water just before cooking them sort of helps them along their way once we put them in the oven to roast. Again, a little bit of a spray, a little touch of seasoning and they're ready to just pop off into the oven. Okay, so we've made our um, stuffing, we've roasted our uh, Silver Fern Farms lamb leg roast and our vegetables are just about to come out of the oven. All nice and ready. So. Uh, there they are, all nice and golden. So what I do, but what I like to do here when I do the um, the good kiwi roast is actually serve it on a big platter and put it in the middle of the table for the whole family to enjoy. Everyone just dig in and have as much or as little as they like. Now here's our roast, Silver Fern Farms roast lamb leg. And again, the important thing to remember that we we've rested it. Now carve this, remember as I said, across the grain, keeping that tenderness. And remember also using the whole length of the knife to get those cuts. So, and then get a little stuffing mix. As I said, with the stuffing mix, we could have put this into little muffin trays or um, loaf tins or even wrapped it up and baked it. But I like it just like this because then that way you can just spread it on your meat once you've served yourself some meat from the platter. Remember, as we said earlier, about the juices that collect once the Meat same, we just pop some of those into the gravy. 
just to give it a little bit more flavour. And now we can a little bit of the gravy over the meat. Like so, and then serve that in a in a jug beside the beside the meat. Silverfern Farms lamb leg roast, roasted vegetables, sage and onion stuffing.